got their attention. <laughs> Hey guys, Dusty Baker, Crossroads Bison. Welcome back to the channel. Hanging out um, here at the Ponderosa. Just lots of fun little projects happening. And basically is what's been going on at the Ponderosa. You see there's a little problem right over here. Got a little water leak with our hose that runs off the rural water from the Ponderosa to our flowers. Try to do a little patchwork. Didn't do a very good job, obviously. And, uh, just kind of doing a lot of random stuff. Getting a fence area ready for, for new fence. Been spending some time on the New Holland Skid Steer. Getting that fence ready uh, for, that's part of Project 189. Pulling fence out, clearing brush, getting all that prepared. Got hay delivered today to stock up for winter. Got to check on red dogs. We got to take care of Marissa's flowers. Um, doing a bunch of random stuff around here and that's just part of our uh, now. So. Come here, Maya. Maya, come here. Stay right here. That is the easiest way to do it. Yep. So I just, I got the phone call this morning from uh, Richard Thomason, uh, the guy who helps build all of our fence. Um, our neighbor, awesome, awesome neighbor. Let's me borrow equipment and whatnot. Just, just good neighbors. You guys know how important good neighbors are. And <laughs> we've got good neighbors and I've had lots of help from them. He got a call, he said, hey, do you want 50 bales of hay? And I said, yes, please, because we need to stock up on hay. And because of the shortage last year and the drought we had last summer, uh, that we've been in, um, I think we're going to hit the same wave again. And, uh, so you get what you can now and be happy with it. And so we got 50 bills of hay. I've got to restack these. I'm going to put them in a corner right back here in our corral. And then, um, I'm going to use the skid steer. These are good looking bells of hay, lots of Johnson grass, which is a big plant that, uh, bison love. It's good hay. So I'm gonna restack that. I've gotta put some panels up, some of my freestanding panels uh, to protect it, to keep the bison out of it right now because the yearlings have access to this. They can come up here. I shut the gate right now because um, we had the hay coming in and out. So i am got to keep them out of here uh, for now and so I can stack this hay up. I'm also gonna do some trenching for Marissa. You saw the hose, that was bad. So I've got to get that ready. Load number two.
So I got 51 bales of hay put away. I got them all stacked up nice and neat and pretty. I did the best I could. That skid steer, guys, that skid steer that I have is just flat out awesome. And it moves so fast, I could get it in and out. And I'll probably stack these up in about 20 minutes if I didn't have any distractions, you know, phone ringing, filming, doing all that. Um, I did it really fast, put these 51 away quick. Then I used a forklift attachment to move my freestanding panels around and I had some of these extra. And I know you're like, golly, Dusty, those are tall. Yes, they are, they're seven feet tall. And what we'll eventually do is use these um, uh, to, for, use, for working the bison and whatnot um, for height. So whenever we push comes to shove a little bit, these will come in handy and we'll need them. So anyways, there those are and um, got them protected. You wrap the chain around and we're good to go. Keep the yearlings out of here, which will be awesome. So right there, that is, uh, we need a lot more hay than that. I think we, between the two properties, between uh, between the two places, between here and mom and Kevin's place, I know we went over a hundred easily. And so we've got 51 stashed away here. And then on the back side of the property, uh, there is a hay field and I don't even think I've showed it to you or taken you over there. I'm gonna have to do that um, and, and show you, but, uh, there is a nice hay field and we've had it ready to cut hay. So here pretty soon, Richard, who also, um, who brought me this hay or got me hooked up with this hay cause he cut it. He got a new baler. Um, he also cuts hay and it's his land basically touches ours. So, which is, which is awesome. Once again, having great neighbors, that's what it's, that's, if you're farming a ranch, you got good neighbors, you are in a good situation and I'm lucky. Because as a beginning farmer, I don't have all the tools. I don't have everything. Um, but you have experienced guys like that who have lots of stuff. And as long as I pay them back with some beer or something like that, um, we're all good. Uh, or some help. So, uh, But it's over on the backside. And we'll get some more hay off of that. I don't know how much. We, we haven't had a whole lot of rain. So anyways. Well, I am excited. Now I'm going to show you guys. I am excited to show you guys um, what's been going on in the office, some updates. I know I gave you a couple updates last time. Golly, the grasshoppers are going crazy. If the grasshoppers are jumping around like that, that big, that many, it's a problem. I need to get the chickens on it. But I am excited to show you what's been going on around the office. I know I gave you a little bit of updates last time, but I have all the work that has uh, gone into it to show you. So let's uh, step into the barn and take a look and I'll show you guys the updates on the office. What in the world are y'all doing in here? This is an office, not a chicken coop. Characters right here. These guys. You guys, I know there was a hole there for you, but we covered it up. So you're gonna have to, they started, so we had that hole right there and I patched up because I was short on sheet metal, my mistakes. I'm not a barn builder. So now they've, since that hole has been filled, they've been going through the door where we're gonna put a door in. So, just a mess. Oh, here comes another one. Let's have a party in here. Let's all hang out together. These guys. Anyways, uh, yeah, those are Brooks's chicks. They're, they're much bigger than they used to be. Um, so hopefully maybe, in, I don't know. Oh, here comes another one. Come on in, let's go. Go ahead. Um, hopefully uh, in the next, I don't know, five or six months, we'll have some uh, hands laying eggs, which would be nice and Brooks would love that. So. Just to give you an update, there's been a lot of work going on in here, and I know I've uh, kept you a little bit of up to date. We got the hey Maya, we got the windows installed. You obviously see some lats being put in, getting ready for a spray foam. Got a couple more uh, things to do, um, but we've got the windows installed and all that. So uh, right here, I want to show you uh, some of the work that has gone into this to get to this point. And it's all right here. Take a look, guys.
I also got a little secret for you. I say little, it's kind of big, but um, you'll, uh, you'll see in an upcoming video a little bit more, or a lot more actually. You'll be able to see it a lot more in the next video. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget, speaking of next video, um, coming up this 4th of July, we are doing a big shirt sale. We're putting a 4th of July discount on all of our shirts. So be ready for that, guys, and it'll drop um, a 4th of July weekend. So stay tuned for that. But uh, here's just a little secret for you. That's, there you go, right there, inside the barn. You'll see it on the next videos. Uh, we got to make sure that the red dogs are doing good and check on them. Still got two at the Ponderosa and check on our, our little young calf that was just born. So let's uh, let's head down the pasture and check on them real quick. Hey guys, just doing a uh, daily herd check. I like to just come out here and the first thing that I always do is... Um, I give them a quick count and make sure how many I have in here. I got 22 uh, yearlings in here, 21 yearling heifers, and then a uh, hoss, wherever a hoss is, I don't know. And then uh, one I raised and then the other 20 are from South Dakota and Canada, as most of you probably know. And then um, I got, had one calf get out through the fence and the one I brought over here, one of the ones I brought over here, and she's over with Big Joe. Um, so she's fine. I'd rather be in here with them, obviously, but um, maybe at some point I can catch her or through a, get her to run through a gate maybe at some point if I have some help and uh, put her back in here. So that's kind of the idea uh, at some point, but who knows if that'll ever happen. So. <laughs> but um, just doing a quick herd check. That's all. I'm going to give these guys some cubes, and then I'm going to make my way to the Big Joe herd. Got their attention. <laughs> Just a shake of the sack. I'll, you guys will be, I'll be your best friend, huh? Come here, hoss. There he is. There's old Hoss. Hey, buddy. Hoss. Come on now. We smell back there, big fella. Cedar tree.
Hello, family. Hello, little guy. New baby's doing good. You guys want some cubes? I'm tired of me sitting here without giving any cubes. Eat. I dropped plenty of cubes. Go eat. So we do that uh, at least once a week. We do herd checks, but um, we we typically give them uh, at least a half a sack of feed uh, this time of the year. Um, as the summer progresses, depending on how much grass we have, uh, we may give them a couple more uh, pounds of feed towards the end of summer that depends on how much grass we have they're all doing good herd check is solid there herd check with the yearlings is good too i got up close to that calf a little bit and uh he's panting a little bit and uh i mean this is the hottest time of the day in the afternoon so I, I know he's hot and this is why i said i do not like them having babies in the middle of the summer mid late june and uh, even into July. It gets hot here in Southern Oklahoma. And uh, it, if he was born in May, like most of them should be, then um, they're already kinda, their immune system's built up, their strength is built up, and it's not as hard on them. Uh, as he's only a week or so old, we hit those hot temperatures, and so it's a lot harder on him because he is that young. Um, if he was a month or, or six weeks old, it, I wouldn't worry about him as much. So, uh, like I said, I don't know if we're going to have any more babies here. It looks like uh, the one I thought, which is no tag, she's back here. Uh, Big Joe has been uh, following her around the pasture, and I pulled up. He was with her again um, all by herself. So, other than that, the big calf is doing good. That's, uh, that's awesome. Something else, uh, guys, I forgot to tell you something, um, but... Uh, the other day, my buddy, I uh, told him, I was talking about horses and whatnot, and I know he's really into horses. Well, he uh, invited me to go ride horses, and it's been a long time since I've, I've rode, uh, since high school. And I'll tell you right now, I'll be the first one to tell you, I'm not the best horse rider, not the best horseman at all. Never owned a horse in my life, maybe a pony when I was a kid. That's about it. Now, I enjoy riding horses, but I, I need more practice and whatnot. Well, he, he's got cattle and he's he's raising horses and stuff. Uh, I went to high school with this guy. His name's Mark and uh, played high school football with him. Did a lot of, uh, you know, sports and all that. Good guy. Anyways, uh, he's got, uh, he invited me out. They were going to work cattle. And so I went, I rode his horse, Rhett. He's uh, about uh, 
13 years old, 13 or so, maybe years old, he said. And Rhett was awesome to me, but uh, I just wanted to share this with you. It was really pretty. We got up early, went out, and uh, I played cowboy for a little bit. Got the cattle, brought them back in. Then we worked calves. And, um, you know, <laughs> working calves, that was tough work. And I've done it a little bit here and there, but we don't work calves like they do. We don't work them like they do. And, uh, you, you know, you get pretty physical with those calves. And uh, you can run them through a squeeze shirt or you can rope them. And uh, we did the old school cowboy traditional way on most of those calves, roping them. So uh, I was just lucky to be able to help Mark work his calves and give him some vaccination, give him the vaccination, give him a new ear tag. And uh, so that was a fun experience. I just wanted to share that with you guys. It was a beautiful morning, and um, I was just, um, I want to thank Mark for letting me do that and kind of get back on the saddle. And I'm, that's, uh, it's been a long time. So um, <laughs> I'm not, I never was a horseman, but, uh, you know, maybe in the future, uh, that's something we can do, maybe. I don't know. Uh, horses and bison, you know, if you look at the West, they go together. Um, so I don't know. What I did like about it, and he made some good points is I do like the fact that it is a lower it is a lower stress working or handling of uh, you know cattle in this case but it, it kind of brought it to my attention that hey if we need to move the bison instead of hopping on an ATV um, or foil or something like that or we need to work them move them uh, whatever it is bring them up to the front a horse may be a more low stress way of doing that and that's what I try to do as we grow I try to anytime we work with the bison I want it to be low stress as possible so I don't know guys you guys let me know what you think about a horse we'll see <laughs> but a horse is a lot of work I do know that some of you are probably going no on horses uh, they are beautiful animals and uh, I uh, I don't know how the bison would handle it um, bison are pretty good you know uh, but I don't know if they would, uh, what they would think about a horse being around. So anyways, Hey, getting a lot of stuff done, getting ready to build fence for project 189. I'm getting Marissa some water. I'll get that, get her, uh, her own water hydrant up there for her flowers. That looks so beautiful and doing a couple other things, but Anyways, hey, thank you guys for watching. Thank you for being a part of all this journey and all the projects going on at Cross Timbers Bison. We'll see you guys soon. That's what I got, 39 plus 4.